I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from previous test papers. It's on polynomials. The question is the function f of x equals to ax cubed minus x squared plus bx minus 24 has x minus 2 and x plus 4 as its factors. Find the third factor. That's the question for you. It is based on remainder theorem. You can actually pause the video and apply remainder theorem to find the solution. Okay, so here is my solution. When we say that x minus 2 and x plus 4 are the factors, it really means, let's start with x minus 2. So if x minus 2 is a factor, that means f of 2 should be equal to 0, right? So what is f of 2? So let me write down x as 2 here. So when I write x as 2, we get a times 2 cubed minus 2 square plus b times 2 minus 24. So we get 0 equals to 8a minus 4 plus 2b minus 24. We can simplify it a bit more. Combining these terms, we get 8a plus 2b minus 24 minus 4 is minus 28. Bringing it to the left gives us plus 28, right? Now we can divide this by 2 to simplify. So we get 14 equals to 4a plus b. Correct. So basically we are given a polynomial cubic in two variables a and b. To find the third factor, we need to find the value of both a and b, and only then we can get the answer. When I substituted 2 in this particular equation, I got one equation in these two variables. Let me number this equation as 1. So I'll do the same thing with the second factor to get this second equation, correct? That's the whole idea. So we can write f of minus 4, that should be also equal to 0, substituting minus 4 will give us this equation, right? So it is minus 4 squared plus b times minus 4 minus 24. This is uh, minus 64a. This becomes plus, but with minus it is negative 16. Here we have minus 4b minus 24. Now again, we can combine a's and b, I mean, uh, rewrite this as minus 64a minus 4b, combine these two terms, which is negative, 6 and 4 is 10, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 4, correct. So we can actually divide all this by 4, right? So let me rewrite this after dividing by 4 and bringing minus 40 to the left side, or let me do it in two steps. So this is all 0 equals 2, correct? When I bring 40, well, these are negative, so I prefer to bring these two on the left side. So we'll write this as 64a plus 4b equals to minus 40. Correct. Anyway, let me write them on the right side since I'm running out of space on this page. So we'll rewrite this dividing all these terms by 4. So when I divide 64a by 4, I get 16a. 4b by 4, I get b, and then we have equal to minus 10. So I'm calling this as my equation number 2. Okay. So these two factors help us to get two equations in a and b. Now we can find these coefficients by substitution or elimination method. Right. So let me rewrite equation number 1 here itself, which is 4a plus b equals to 14 that is I just copied equation number one right so this I copied from here okay fine so we can easily eliminate b right so we can eliminate b by taking away one from the other so equation two minus equation one is what we are going to do now so that gives us 12a this is zero equals to 24 with a negative sign, right? Minus 10 minus 14, or A is equals to minus 24 divided by 12, and that is equal to 2 with a negative sign. So minus 2. 
you can find the value of b um, by substituting a s minus 2. So b will be equals to 14 minus 4 times a which is minus 2 which is 14 minus and minus is plus plus 4 times 2 is 8 right and that gives you the value of uh, that gives you the value at um, 22 right okay so we'll soon need a calculator to further do our question i think okay so 14 plus 8 is 22 so we get the value of b so that gives us the polynomial and the polynomial is f of x equals 2 a is minus 2 so we have minus 2 x cubed minus x squared plus 22x minus 24 correct so that is the polynomial for us now we need to get the third factor correct we already know two of these factors now, the different ways to find the third factor is that you could divide this by one factor you get a quadratic equation and you know one of them is and find the factors for the other one to get your result so so that should help you to get the third factor correct so what I will do here is quickly in this little space divide it by the first factor so we'll use the um, shortcut method to divide and uh, let me show you here well write down these coefficients these coefficients are let's use a different ink minus 2 for x cubed minus 1 plus 22 minus 24 we are first dividing by x minus 2 so we'll write 2 here now to divide let me push this a bit here we'll bring down 2 I hope you know this division okay so it is minus 2 multiply this by minus 2 we get minus 4 add them up minus 5 multiply you get minus 10 add them up you get 12 multiply you get uh, 24 add them up you get 0 correct so that means the remainder is 0 indeed this is a factor but this gives you uh, the quadratic equation which is minus these are the coefficients right minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 12 now if I divide this by the second factor I get my result okay so running out of space I'll just do it on this side okay so let me uh, use this space to do it shortcut okay uh, that's fine okay. what you can do is you can actually multiply these two and do long division and get your third factor so here these are my coefficients so I'll write these coefficients here and once again divide so we have minus 2 minus 5 and 12 and this time we are dividing by minus 4 whatever makes this 0 that's the whole idea a division we normally subtract since I have taken minus 4 what makes it 0 I'm adding the top right I'm not dividing by x plus 4 as we will do in long division okay so this is synthetic division so bring down this term minus 2 times with minus 4 so it gives you 4 times 2 as 8 with positive sign and then that gives you 3 and when you multiply that with 3 you do get minus 12 and the remainder as expected is 0 correct remainder is perfect so so there is your answer which you can see right here the answer is uh, these coefficients correct for your quadratic I mean for your linear function since this was quadratic this is linear so the third factor let me write down the answer directly is minus 2x plus 3 okay that is our factor okay that's the answer and that's the third factor okay sorry for you know just making it so tight with the area we have to work with anyway but I hope the concept is clear to you let me go through this solution once again we are given a polynomial in which we have two unknowns a and b so we need to find the coefficients of x cube and that of x 
before finding the third factor. And therefore, we kind of utilize the information that x minus 2 and x plus 4 are factors. We got two equations. Solving those two equations, we got the value of a and b. And dividing the known equation now, the cubic equation, one by one by these factors, we first reduce it to a quadratic equation, dividing by a first factor, and then by the second factor, we got a linear factor, which is our result. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can share and subscribe my videos to learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.